really excited to to get it done um, and just can't wait to, to play really. Obviously I was on international um, so I was fully concentrated on that and then when I came back I was figuring out where to move and then once my agent mentioned Sheffield Wednesday you know the big club as it is I thought it's something I would definitely get on board to so once uh, I heard about it agent got to work and you know got done. Fair to say you'll have had interest from, from, from other clubs as well. Why was Sheffield Wednesday the team that you thought was the next the next move for you? Yeah, yeah I think this is definitely a, a big step for me. Um, it's, it's a place where, you know, great history um, and good ambitions, really. And I think it's somewhere that I can I can play um, and get better. So definitely a place where I thought I'd, I'd learn. And obviously you've, you've had uh, talks with the manager, no doubt, as well. What's he said to you and, yeah. and how does he see you, you fitting yeah. in here? He was definitely a big thing as well, coming in. Um, he spoke to me, um, felt like he really, really wanted me and he knew what, he, what I was capable of um, and how he could push me and get better and better. So definitely a, a big positive. You've obviously had a few loan spells in the, in the last few years. Yeah. It's fair to say that this is an opportunity to, to put some roots down and have a, have a longer term vision for your, for your career as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Obviously I was at Hull in the champ and then dropped back to, to League One with Portsmouth. So excited to be back in the champ and, and playing against, you know, just better teams really. Yeah. What can fans expect to see from you? Yeah, definitely someone that's, that's, that's quick, good on the ball. So hopefully I'll be driving out a lot. Um, and I've, this season I want to, you know, nick a few goals as well. So hopefully they'd, they'd see a few of them. There's a, there's a lot of competition in that in that centre half position, isn't there? I guess that's a yeah, that's a driving yeah, force yeah, as well. Exactly. You know, everyone's pushing each other in training, which is only a positive. Really, everyone's getting better and better and better. But you know, whoever whoever plays will will do a good job. So. How's, how's training been so far? I've only been here a few days, but how have you settled in? Yeah, really good. The the, the lads have uh, really welcomed me, so it's, that's that's definitely been a positive. Um, good good bunch of lads, really. Um, obviously, I know Mal from when we were at Hull together, so it's nice seeing a face that I've seen before. But yeah, all the lads are good. Yeah, it's, it's good to have that familiar face, isn't it? And also, you're, you're one of several new players in the last in the last couple of weeks or so. I guess that helps as well because there's, there's other people in there in the same scenario that you are. Yeah, exactly. So everyone's. It's not me just learning everyone's name, it's a few lads. So yeah, it makes it a bit a bit easier. Have you had to do a initiation yet? Have you managed to get away with that? I did, I've, I've already done it. Did a did a quick song in the changing room, which I actually thought was decent to be fair. Everyone kind of joined in and that, so was yeah, it was good. I sang Neo, so sick. It went down, all right. <laughs> Obviously come here with international experience as well. Tell us about your, your, your start with Jamaica and, and how it's been getting called up for your country. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely something I always wanted to do. Um, obviously there was a lot of stuff I need to put in place first, but it was definitely an amazing experience, you know, playing in that competition, um, playing against, playing with some big names. Um, so yeah, it was definitely good, amazing experience in America. A lot of traveling, but yeah, definitely a, a good experience. I'm lucky to, to lose in the semi-final, but I think we just definitely did, did well and a lot to build on. As you say, with Jamaica, so, so much travelling, isn't it? It's a, it's a totally different experience playing a totally different part of the world as well. Yeah, literally, you know, America's much bigger than England. Like, we were flying like five hours here, five hours there. Time difference was always was always on and off, so, yeah, a lot. Obviously, you were, you were in the squad for, for the game against Southampton on Friday. How, how did you find the, the game? And, and obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a different challenge for us this season, having come up from, from League One. Yeah, it was good. I thought the boys did well. I think they executed the, the gaffer's game plan really well. And I think they're just unlucky to to concede late on really. I think we were hard to, to break down. I think the lads definitely definitely did well and a lot to, to build on really. Obviously it's only the first game of the the season but definitely a good a good starting point. So you saw the atmosphere at Hillsborough and, and what it can bring, how much yeah. are you looking forward to being out yeah, there? Yeah the atmosphere was was, was crazy before even uh, some uh, people that came to watch they, they said the same the atmosphere was 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 really, really crazy. I can't wait to to just get out there and play in front of the fans.